this is a hybrid meeting right now. Of course, there is only one person and I guess Sampath is there, but uh, there could be 100 or 200 people there. And then we have 40, 50 people here. That's hybrid meeting. Now, how do we actually execute it? So if you want to do something like this, what do you have to do? Uh, by the way, I didn't do anything. I just brought my laptop. I hooked it up here and I created a hybrid meeting. Of course, there are some other things we will get into it, but I didn't do anything. I did not pay any extra money from my pocket. I just made sure that the equipment that was there in the hotel could connect to my laptop. So when I speak, the online audience can hear it crisp because the sound is coming from that device from that which is there in the hotel. And also when they speak from the laptop, I'm sending it straight there so you all can hear it on the big speakers. What else do you need? That's a hybrid meeting, right? There are some additional considerations we'll think of. But as I said, this would work if all your meetings were conducted in five-star hotels and they already had all the equipment there for you. Let's look at it from the club perspective and so forth. So the hybrid meeting itself is very simple to understand. The question now is, why do we need to adapt to hybrid meetings? How many of you all in the offices here regularly doing hybrid meetings because of work. Okay, what kind of hybrid setup? Are we talking about a boardroom where you meet and some people join online? That's the kind of setup? That's normally it, right? So you have maybe a department meeting where people are sitting, but you need to bring in some other people and they are in a different country or a different region and they log in and you seamlessly have hybrid meetings. We used to have this, of course, before pandemic also. Hybrid meeting is not something new, but because technology has become so ingrained, it's part of our life now, people have adapted now to work from home. I'm sure most of you are aware of all the issues that are going on at big companies like Apple and Google, where employees are saying, sorry, I don't want to come. I want to work from home. And now companies have to adapt. And therefore, whether it's in Toastmasters or whether it is in work, hybrid meeting is now part of our life, whether the pandemic is there or not, because pandemic has taught us that we actually can work from home. So this is how companies will evolve. And therefore, we also as Toastmasters need to enable our members to evolve like that. In fact, this is my setup at office. I am in an online meeting. I know that my voice is clear and I'm seen and heard. I invested. This is not something that the company gave me. I took my equipment and I said, I want to maximize whatever it is that we are doing now. So let us look at the technical components of a hybrid meeting. As I said, this is a hybrid meeting. What is it that we have here that makes up a hybrid meeting? And so when we talk about whether it's at a club level or at a large event such as DTEC, how we will handle it. This is my laptop. This is the heart of the hybrid meeting. I'm running the Zoom. I have a large display. I could consider a projector also, but at the end of the day, it's a display for you who are sitting in this room to see what's happening in the online. How many of you all in the club do you have access to a TV or a projector you'll have already in place, or do you all carry a projector with you? And this is something we used to do before pandemic also, right? When we have a presentation, we need speakers. So in this case, I already had the speakers from the hotel. So I rolled them, hook my laptop to those speakers. If I did not, then the speakers from the laptop wouldn't be loud enough for you to hear, right? In, if I didn't have that, what could be my other options? Maybe one of the Bluetooth speaker, a sizable one, put it in the center so all of you can hear. But still, it is connected from my laptop. I need a microphone or microphones. So in this case, I have access to two microphones. Both of them are working. And this are going straight into that mixer. And from the mixer, it is coming to my laptop. The challenge you might face when you, when, if you are doing something like that, those of you who have laptops here, do you all have two jacks, like 
for speaker and microphone or some of you all have only one jack right so all new laptops by the way they don't come with this two jacks this could be your uh, solution a usb adapter which is what i have used here so i connect the usb and microphone and the speaker in this and this is what you get and finally you need camera or camera i could use the laptop uh, camera but you notice that i have placed two mobiles and we'll see how they can work because there is one mobile here there is one mobile here i could put more that is my setup as far as hybrid is concerned but as i said you might not be able to access all of this at different levels like club level for example you won't be able to have access to such kind of equipment how would you handle that how do you all run your hybrid meetings let's take some feedback from you all let's start with the club level so laptop of course is the heart of what you are doing but how do you handle the other components of the hybrid meeting how do you get good sound because any hybrid meeting you can make or break with audio and if you all have experienced bad hybrid meetings it is usually because you have not taken care of audio you might be relying on your laptop's microphone your online audience won't be able to hear it properly or you don't have a good speaker so the audience here can't hear what the online audience is saying they say that you can be forgiven for bad video you you can even forget about not seeing the video but if you can't hear what will you understand what's happening let's now start experimenting with hybrid meeting so as you can see i have me this is the host my co-host priscilla sampat is over there he is co-host but you will notice that none of them have audio next to their icon can you see that why did i tell sampat disconnect your audio i'm sure all of you know right if there are two devices connected to the same meeting in proximity to each other it will create a feedback loop so generally what i do is when i am having a club meeting i just put a mobile like this put it in selfie mode so what happens is if i was to deliver a speech a project i can see myself and you all can see the online audience me delivering the speech like this now whether it's a mobile or a professional camera that's another story i like mobiles you know why because they have everything built inside but if i was to place a camera how would i put it in the zoom meeting i would have to then connect it to a laptop and then laptop is joined to the meeting but here i just take out the lap mobile put it here and i'm up and running as far as this view is concerned so the person can come here deliver his speech all you need is your mobile a tripod and you are done but what if i want to show the online audience what's happening here so i have another mobile here so if i spotlight this one now the online audience is observing you as far as cameras and the laptop is concerned for your club meetings you can do this setup and it will work fine as long as your mobiles have decent internet connection so laptop one or two mobiles strategically placed around your club premises and you are done so i was going to ask priscilla because now from club meeting we are talking about contests and i know that you are a very passionate about taking part in contests do you know when is the next world championship of public speaking yes where is that it's in bahamas if you were given an opportunity like how nisha got an opportunity and to represent district 20 would you prefer to deliver your speech online or would you want to be in bahamas definitely in bahamas not for bahamas but but for having to stand on stage and deliver is what i would have i would prefer rather than being online well i might even join you but i might not make very good company for you 
or the convention. Do you know why? Ah, yes. scuba diving. Okay. Yeah, so, so if I come with you to Bahamas, enjoy. most likely I'll be underwater while you are delivering your speech in the <laughs> semi-finals and hopefully at the finals. Let's go beyond the club level and area directors now have to conduct your area contest. And let's say you want to do it in as physical, but give this option for contestants like Priscilla to come online and deliver their speech as she is doing. So how would you attempt it? So if it was done, for example, in this room, this TV could be enough. Maybe make sure the other TV works. Get two mobile phones, laptop, and just make sure that you hook up that mixer into your laptop. And you should be able to conduct contest. Don't you think so? Do you think that this is good enough for an area? The only thing, of course, as technical people, you have to make sure, again, I keep in mind is that when there are multiple devices, like Sampath is here, this phone is here, this phone is here, only one device should have the audio turned on, as you can see here, right? And of course, from the other side, Priscilla's device is turned on because we want to hear her. But you notice here that none of the other devices have audio on. And that's very easy to do, by the way. You might have seen on your phone, there is an option called disconnect audio. Or if it is on the laptop, we have an option here which says leave computer audio and it would disconnect me from the audio. So keep only one device connected and then the rest should be fine. This was a division contest. And if I was to spotlight the speaker here and remove this spotlight, would it work or not work? I'm just asking your opinion. If the speaker is online, can you put that speaker view of yourself? Because that is what an online judge would look at. Okay, that's very simple, right? Because all I will do is I will select speaker view is here. I replace the spotlight. So then the, if the judges are online and I am the speaker, I would frame it in such a way, something like this. This is my speaking area. If my speaking area was here, Maybe I'll have to adjust the view of that camera a little bit. And I'm giving the speech here and I'm being evaluated by online judges or here. And it would be the same thing. District would be something like World Championship of Public Speaking, what you saw there. Which means you will need an array of speakers, array of professional cameras connected to some um, mixer, video mixing. And then it all comes back to this laptop. And so up to division, I think, more or less what I have told here would work and you can start planning for that. And uh, I thank Priscilla for being part of this to thank give you. an experience for you all to see how it works. That was the whole idea. How does it actually work using the tools and technology that we already have? So if I could come from Kuwait, just plug in my laptop and some connections, it means all of you all can start planning for your events like this. Thank you very much for your time.